right, now we answer another question. Um, now this question is... All right, Matthew, your question. Did Esau, did Esau still get the blessing from Isaac? Did Esau still get the blessing from Isaac? Who knows the story? And obviously, Matthew knows the story because he asked the question. Okay, who wants to tell the story? Isaac, you want to tell the story? No. Uh, wow, this cannot come up. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, Brenda, you want to tell the story? What's the story about Esau? Wait. About Isaac. So, Isaac, you don't want to tell your own story. Then there was Esau. And then there was Jacob, right? So, what's the story? They were twins. They were, alright, they were, they were birth twins, alright? They look very different. One was? Hairy. One was hairy. Which one was hairy? Esau was very hairy man, alright? Esau was a hairy man. Alright? Hairy. I don't know how to draw hair. Esau was a hairy man. Alright? Esau was hairy. Although they are twins. Must twins always look alike? Not necessarily, eh? So at birth, yeah, they both came out together, one after another. They were very different, so they were born at the same time. Alright, why do you want to talk about their birth? Who came out first? Huh? Who came out first? Noah. And then what happened? And then Jacob came out. Okay, ask the adult. Phyllis, who came out first? Esau came out first. What did Jacob do? Okay, you go back and find out. Huh? <laughs> Alright. All we know, Jacob was a usurper. Right? Jacob will always want to be first in everything. Okay? Now, so these two. Now, so I, Matthew asked, did Esau still get a blessing from Jacob? Remember when Jacob was old? Then Jacob was going to bless the children. Huh? So Esau... Okay, Matthew, why don't you tell us the story? You don't remember? Okay, you want to tell us? Now, who was Jacob going, who was Isaac going to bless? He wanted to bless Esau. Right? But what, hap, what did Rebekah and Jacob do? Right. So, I, so Isaac was going to bless Esau. And then, Rebecca, the mother, Rebecca, the mother, wanted Isaac to bless Jacob. Okay, and then what did they do? Put the animal skin on Jacob. So Jacob skin, although was smooth, when when Esau, Esau was very old already, right? So he can't see already. When he touched, he touched wow, so 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 rough, and so hairy. Yeah, so rough and hairy. So when, 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 when Isaac put his hand, <laughs> right, when Isaac put his hand on him, it's like, oh, okay, I think this is Esau. Because he remembered Esau to be very hairy, and hairy means rough skin, right? Also. So he blessed him instead. So now, Matthew, so in the end, who got blessed? Jacob got blessed. All right? So Rebecca and Jacob tricked Esau, tricked Isaac into blessing Jacob. Now, so Matthew, Matthew feels very bad for Esau. So Matthew could not sleep at night. So, oh, this is so unfair. Did your sister do things like that to you? So unfair. No, my sister got the cake because she tricked daddy and mommy. I didn't get the cake. <laughs> Alright, so he said, oh, so, so unfair. Esau, did Esau get the blessing? What do you think? Sing Yuan. He did get a blessing. Now, let us turn our Bibles. Okay, to Genesis, chapter 27. Genesis, chapter 27. Now, there's a lesson to be learned also, huh? Genesis 27. So, okay, so Sing Yuan say he got the blessing. 
Sing Yun, the sister, did, did Esau get the blessing? Okay, I read, I read Isaac's question exactly to us. Huh? Did Esau still get the blessing from Isaac? Did Esau still get the blessing from Isaac? Right? Isaac, correct? Isaac, hence writing, it was very clear. Did Esau still get the blessing from Isaac? So Matthew's question is very specific. Huh? Still get the blessing from Isaac. Sing Yun, did he? Did he? He got a different one. He got a different blessing. So, a different. So, Sing Yun say, Sing Yun say, get God. Sing Yun say, a diff. Wait, wrong. That Isaac got a different blessing. How do we know? Let's turn. Let's turn. Uh, to Genesis 27. Let's read verse 28. Wait, um, Genesis 27. Okay, this is... Uh, wait, uh, let me read further first, huh? Okay, actually, let's read verse 34, alright? 34 onwards. Okay, let's read 34 onwards. Let's read together. And, and when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry, and said unto his father, Bless me, even me, also, O my father. And he said, Thy brother came with subtility, and he hath taken away thy blessing. And he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob? For he has supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, and now he had taken away my blessing. And he said, Hast thou not reserved a blessing for me? And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy lord, and all his brethren I have given to him for servants. And with corn and wine have I sustained him, and what shall I do now unto thee, my son? And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, and the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass. When thou shalt have the dominion, thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Okay? So, there was one blessing, and Esau did give. Alright? What happened to Isaac? What happened to Matthew? Okay, Matthew went... Oh, Matthew is there. Alright, Matthew. Alright, Matthew. So, what did we just read, Matthew? We just read that Isaac gave Esau a different blessing. He did get a blessing, but a different one. A different one. But what is so special about the blessing to Jacob? Right? What is so special? Jacob will be the line from which the Messiah would come. Okay? That was that very special blessing. Okay? But there was only one such blessing. It was given to Jacob. Jeremy, do you think that God was unfair? Alright, like Matthew lost his cake to Gracia. <laughs> Alright? Was God unfair? Now, this, this man, I am blind, blinded, so old. Okay? Now, in fact, yeah, so old, blind cannot see, then make a mistake. Make a mistake and give the blessing to Esau. And then this one cheated some more. So he got the blessing the line from which the Messiah will come. Is it, was God unfair? I don't, I don't understand do, question. You don't understand the question? Oh, you don't have to answer. Okay. Now it's at least, at least people are honest. I don't know how to answer. Did you really repeat the question? <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, I don't have to answer. That's it. Don't, don't waste time. What do you think? Uh, CP? It's got unfair. But cannot be unfair, so 
Okay, first, <laughs> CP is very smart. Say, God is infinite in His justice. God is infinite in His justice. So, very good answer. Whenever you read the Bible, say, hmm, seems not very fair. Huh? This guy cheated. This man was blind. And worst of all, no, you read. Alright? Now, you read Genesis 25, 23. Uh, not that. 25, 28. Sorry, 28. 28, let's read together. Genesis 25, 28, reading. And Isaac loved Esau because he did of his venison. You know why? You know why Jacob, Isaac, loved Esau? Because he liked what? He liked, he liked Esau's stew. You know it's venison? What's venison? <laughs> deer's meat, right? Something like deer's meat. So Esau can cook very good stew. So the daddy say, oh, I love your stew. So tasty. So Bible say, wow, this man, this man is, this man goes by, I like his food. And then old, want to bless him also because I like his food. And then got taken away. Hmm? So he's got, so first of all, CP used the principle thing. When you read the Bible, always use the principle who God is. So God is infinite in his justice. God never do anything unfair. So how? Um, Justin, how? How to answer? No, Justin, answer today. Uh, Natalie, you're going back already. You want to try? How? God is unfair. God is not unfair. We all know the answer God is not unfair. But then how do you explain all these things? Do you like this to happen to you, Caleb? Ayah, daddy should have bought that thing for you. And then, no, no, actually it's the opposite. Cornelius is the older one, right? Daddy likes Cornelius cupcakes. Ah. <laughs> I heard you're very good at making cakes. Your daddy likes Cornelius cupcake. Then, then Caleb tricked daddy out of giving him something. You like that happen to you? You don't like? You like that to happen to you, Caleb? Yes. <laughs> How do you explain all this? When you read the Bible, say, oh, ha, ha. okay, maybe the parents can answer. Is, oh, Howard sent people back, is it? Is Howard here? No. Okay, Howard sent people back. Uh, Claude, do you treat your children like that? Or you only have one child? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, one child. Uh, favoritism. So got favoritism. Favoritism. Also, oh, you say good ah, so you deserve it ah. Wow, favoritism ah, good. You deserve it. You don't get it. <laughs> How? <laughs> favoritism. Pay. Pay also one. Wait. Okay. Uh, How ah? Um. Who has two kids? For Alex. <laughs> How? Sorry, what's the question? <laughs> <laughs> the question is, is God unfair? Esau is the older one. Normally, in the Jewish family, the oldest one get the blessing, right? Then he didn't get the blessing. This one tricked and got the blessing. So God is not fair. Why did God let this happen? Then from then permanently, Jacob was the line from which the Messiah come. Is God unfair? Uh, God, is, we that God, is God is always fair. So how do you explain all these things then? David, oh, Jacob went through a difficult life. <laughs> Jacob did go through a difficult life. Because of this, he had to run away. The brother wanted to kill him. So because of that, he went through a difficult life, but that's not my question. <laughs> also, say God say fair, fair. Uh, now you suffer, suffer, <laughs> suffer for what you're doing. Well, it is true. Jacob did suffer. Jacob did suffer. Now remember all these facts, huh, Because we there are lessons to learn. Did Jacob suffer? Jacob suffer. Okay. Hey, wait, Matthew. Matthew, because of what Jacob did, he tricked his, tricked the father and he tricked the brother. Because of that, the brother wanted to kill him. Okay. And because of that. 
because he did all these dishonest things, he had to go on the run. He had to escape and live in a different country and he suffered. Okay, got bullied by other people also. So did Jacob suffer for his, for his dishonest trickery? He did. He did. So you're right, God did um, chastise him. So if God chastised him, now listen carefully, yeah? Jennifer, if God chastised Jacob, does it mean that God actually wanted Esau to get the blessing? Ha! Huh? You steal the blessing from your brother, so I chastise you. Esau should have gotten the blessing. Do you think it's like that? No. Why? Very good answer, all right? So she spoke very softly. I'm sure the adults didn't hear. Mabel, why, why is it not the situation where God chastised Jacob because Esau should have gotten the blessing, so God chastised him because he tricked? Why is it not the case? Because you'll never read Genesis, all right? So this girl read Genesis, so she knows. Look at Genesis 25. Verse 23. Okay, how did you know that? Because you remember reading. So knowing the Bible is very important. Okay, 23, uh, chapter 25, verse 23, reading together. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other. And the elder shall serve the younger. At that point, when Rebekah was carrying both of them, what did God say, Cornelius? The older one, the older one will serve the younger one, correct? The older one will serve the younger one. So the people of God will come from this line. Okay, will come from this line. It is God's plan already. Understand that? So, when this thing happened, is it because Jacob was blind? Jacob was blind, huh? you can only feel that. Huh? But is it because of that? Isaac. Is it because Isaac was oh, too old, cannot see? Is it really because of that? No. God already intended that Jacob get the blessing. All right, so Matthew, that blessing is special. And God already intended when they were in the stomach that Jacob will be the one that get that blessing. Okay, Matthew? All right? God had another blessing. So Matthew, when you answer still get the blessing, no, he did not get the blessing, the special one. But he did get other blessing. Okay, Matthew, Ken? All right. Now, God already intended it to be Jacob. So is it because he couldn't see? No. Is it because, listen carefully, uh, adults, is it because Rebecca is so smart that their, their plan worked? Is it because of that? God already intended, understand that. When all this happened, God, before the foundation of the world, already intended it. God will overrule all these things. Whichever case, even his eyes were clear. Big and clear. Huh? Even if he don't like venison. No matter what, even if they... Now, let me ask you. If Rebecca and Jacob did not do all this trick, Phoebe, if they did not do all this trick to deceive Isaac, would Jacob still end up getting the blessing? What do you think? We know that God wanted Jacob to get the blessing, correct? The younger one. So even if they, did, they didn't do all this trick to Isaac, in the end, would Jacob have been the one that will get the blessing? What do you think? Yes. Yes or no? Not sure. What do you think, Anna? What do you think? Jacob will still get. God is always in control. What God has willed, for his people, it will happen. Okay, understand that. Now, what is the lesson for adults? Pay. Hey, what's the lesson for adults? Do we need to 
do now remember this huh? who knew that the older that the older will serve the younger you look at verse Genesis 25 verse 23 the Lord said unto her the Lord said unto her huh? the Lord told Rebecca Miss Rebecca knew Okay, so mothers and fathers listen carefully. Actually, children also listen carefully. Rebecca knew. He knew. She knew. That's why when she heard that the husband was going to bless Esau, he said, hey, hey, God already told me, you know. So she used her own energy, her own thinking, her own plan to make sure that the husband blessed Jacob. Because she knew what, right? I, I know my husband now. Uh. Like the venison so much until you uh, are blind already. Oh yeah, he's old and also blind. He, he want to bless Esau. But God told me that Jacob will be the one. So now I need to do something. Right? Do you think that Rebecca needed to do that deceptive thing? What do you think? Alright, ask mothers. Look, Grace. Do you think Rebecca needed to do all this? He said, I know what. I know God intended this. Oh yeah, now I need to help God, right? I need to help God because my husband is like that. Ah. I need to help God. Do you think she needed to help God? Definitely not. Do you think that even if she didn't go and put the animal skin on Jacob's back, somehow, somehow in the end, Jacob will still be getting the blessing? Do you believe? It will. So the lesson that we learn from here. So Matthew, you asked a very good question. The lesson we learn here is, when you know God has ordained something, when you know that is right, you should not manipulate situations as parents, as whatever. Trust in God to bring things to pass. Okay? Now, if God does not want a particular child to have something, now children, all listen. If God do not want you to have something, should you go and cheat and lie and do all sorts of tricks to get it? What do you think? Yes? No? No. God has already ordained. Now, don't be jealous of your friends in school. My friend is so smart in school. Always get A. What I'll do is I will go and do something so that my friend will not keep getting A's. Huh? Do all sorts of things. If God wants you to be something, you will be that. If God does not want, be content. Be content. All right? Be content. Okay, so that is the lesson for young people. I say same for adults. God already built certain things in your life. You can go and study and be top student and everything. You will still fail in life if God wants you to be. God wants you to be a failure. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> if God wants you not to be very successful, you will not. Okay? If God wants you to be successful, you don't study also, you will become successful. Is it true? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Is it true? True. Ah? Vincent, is it true? Yes. <laughs> you heard the question or not? If God wants you to be successful, you don't study also, you become successful. There is human responsibility, all right? All right, listen here. Eh? If God wants you to be successful, you have human responsibility. All right, don't go back and tell my mommy that I think I think I have this strong feeling. Uh, God wants me to be successful. No? So mommy daddy, I'm not doing my homework anymore. Hmm? Don't think like that. You have responsibility. But in doing that responsibility, you don't do anything dishonest. Just do what is needed. Okay? God has ordained it. Do what is needed. So now ask fathers. Fathers, when you go to work, this is your boss, huh? when you go to work, you work very hard and be a very good employee. Why? Why? Wait, who's working? Uh, I saw the working people already. Uh, Claude. Why? Why do you work very hard? Yeah, I asked Claude already. Uh, Colin, why do you work very hard and be very good at your workplace? Everyone will do it because of promotion, right? Because of promotion, success. Why? To glorify God. To glorify God. Simply that. I simply do it because I'm a Christian. I want people to know that I am a Christian. I do, I work very hard, I work very well, not 
for promotion because whether I'll be promoted or not depends on who? Mabel. God already ordained. It depends on God. Whether the younger will serve the elder, the elder will serve the younger is decided by God. Okay? So you work hard not to have people serve you. You work hard simply because you're supposed to do so as a Christian. Can I understand or not, Jennifer? Okay? So in school, why do you study hard? So that the teachers will like you. No. Why? To glorify God. So that people know, wow, Christians are hardworking, honest people. That's all. Nothing to do with wanting a promotion. Nothing to do with wanting teachers to like you. Simply because you're a Christian. That's it. That's it. Alright? So Jacob and mother need not have done all these things. God can still intervene. Do you believe that? You must believe that. If not, when you come out and work, you will secretly do dishonest things to get promoted. That's what they do. So now I ask the last question. Then we have to go down. Why, listen carefully, why did God chastise Jacob? Did God chastise Jacob because Jacob stole from Esau? Yes. Correct. Jacob was chastised not because he stole the blessing. The blessing was meant to be his. Jacob was chastised because he used trickery. He, he deceived, lied and all that. That is what he was chastised for. All right? So you don't need to do all these things. You do all these things, you end up being chastised. Correct? Okay? All right? So this is a, a good question. Thank you, Matthew, for submitting it. So I hope that we learned many things from it. Okay? Now let us pray. What do we have here? Top five reasons why church dropouts. Uh, what church dropouts say. Why they stop attending church. Now please remember 66% of, well I take the American view, um, they are the most readily available results. They stop attending church at least a year after turning 18. So from